Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Mobile Foodies. In today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you on how to cook a delicious afang soup. Or you can say Kalaba Ukwara Afang soup. It's going to be delicious. This is the afang leaf. I'm washing it. I've washed it. This is the third time. I want all the sun to go out let it be free from sun that's why i'm washing it so i'm going to squeeze it so that there will be no water i squeeze it this way i'm removing the excess water out of it It's going to be step by step tutorial, so be patient and watch it to the end. If you want to learn how to cook afang soup, so the next step. I want to show you how to cut the afang leaf or the okazi leaf. Look for a longer leaf and cross the other leaves. I want to start cutting it now. So that's the one I've just finished cutting. I will continue cutting it. I finished cutting the half and leaves. I shred it into tiny pieces. So I want to pan it now. This is the mortar that I want to and pound it. So I want to pound it now. I am through with the mission place. I have here my perinko. I have here pomo or kanda or cow skin. I have my stockfish. This is my stockfish. I have my smoke fish. This is my smoke fish here. It's washed at the bone. I have my beef, the rib of the cow. I have my watermelon here. It's washed and shredded. I have my crayfish. I have one and a half cup of crayfish. I have my seasoning cube. I have my salt. I have my yellow pepper. Here is my yellow pepper. That is my yellow pepper. It's very pepperish. So this is my afang. I finished cutting it. I finished pounding it. This is the outcome of it. It's wash. If you don't wash your afang before cutting it, there will be so much sand 
in your soup so i have another yellow pepper there you can reduce it if your mouth cannot carry it it's very pepperish so i have my pot in here that is what i want to use in steaming the meat and other ingredients for you to know the quantity of water leave to use for my afang my afang is alkazi leaf is one kg so for the water leaf i'm going to use two kg so the formula for it is two is to one that is the formula for it for you to know the quantity of what I need to use is two is to one or you can say one is to two I've added my beef to the pot I added my stock fish and my hormone the cow skin so what I'm going to do now I want to add seasoning cube I'm adding one tablespoon of my seasoning cubes I'm going to add salt salt is according to your taste I'm going to add a little pepper the pepper will not be much because not everybody that consume pepper so I'm going to add a little water In my pre preparation I'm not going to use onions because if I use onions now it will alter the taste of the afan so I'm going to steam it now remember that I added the very little water as you can see the water is very low very small just to mix up with the seasoning cube and the salt So for the perinko, you have to wash it with salt, wash it for five to six times with salt, then place it in a pot or a saucepan, then add a little salt and boil it, boil it for 10 minutes, then remove it, wash it back and keep it. So for the smoked fish, I'm not going to put it now, I'll show you when I'm going to put it. The same thing applicable to the afang leaf or kazi leaf and the vegetable also, that is the water leaf. So my protein is on fire. I place it on heat to boil. Let it boil and the stock fish will be tender. So my protein is boiling. I want to add my smoked fish now. Then I'll add my periwinkle. The work of periwinkle is that it increases the volume of the soup. I 
And when it's time for you to eat the soup, you do. <laughs> you saw me very weak. And you enjoy it yourself. So I want to add a little water. Well, the perinko has taken over the whole soup. Don't scatter the fish. I will leave it to boil for 10 minutes. Then I'll add one tablespoon of seasoning cube. A seasoning cube is to your taste. I will cover it to boil. I want to add my crayfish. The aroma is too much. You need to be in this kitchen with me. I will then add my water leaf. I've already told you the formula. Two is to one. Two parts water leaf, one part afan leaf or okazi leaf. That's the formula. Then I'll leave it to cook so that the water leaf can soften. I'll leave it to cook for three minutes. I'm going to cover it. I'm going to add my fang now. It for one minute. The quantity of water you are adding depends on you. And it also depends on the quantity of the afan leaf and the water leaf. So I'm going to add my oil now. I will off the heat or off the gas. 
I want it to be fresh. The quantity of oil depends on you too. Some people like it more oily. Some people don't like oil. So my soup is ready now. I'll dish it out to show you. Yummy. Delicious. This is the outcome of the soup. The Ukwafan soup. As you can see, all the yummy yummy is inside. So, I'm going to enjoy my own. I'm washing my hand now. I have fufu here. Two big balls, and I have my plate of soup. So I want to test it. Oh Lord, Father, bless this food, sanctify in Jesus' name. Amen. Provide for people that doesn't have. So I'm going to test it now. Come and eat. Everybody is good for lunch. Don't eat it in the morning. Don't eat it at night. Eat it for lunch. So delicious. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Click on the button so that you'll be the first to know when I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.